Batman has been moving over the Arrowverse for a while now, especially on Arrow, and since Green Arrow doesn't really have a very large rogues gallery in the comics, on Arrow, considering they had like 170 episodes, they had to fill them with the villains, and they have used a lot of Batman villains, most of them not really the most prominent Batman villains, but some of them have been very prominent Batman villains that have been used on Arrow. In this video, I'm going to be looking at all 13 of these Batman villains, not including the ones that have yet to appear, like characters who haven't been mentioned, like uh, Bane, Penguin, Clayface, Riddler, etc., who were mentioned in Elseworlds or were referenced in Elseworlds. This is only counting who uh, characters who have appeared, and as it turns out, every single Batman villain who has appeared as of yet has only appeared on Arrow, so this, I guess, list is exclusive to Arrow, so let's start the list right away with number 13. The man who killed my brother roamed completely free. It's not freedom. It's work. It's wrong. Are you a counseling? I'm a trained therapist. Harley Quinn had a cameo role in the 16th episode of Arrow Season 2, and also she appeared in a deleted scene in the ending of Season 2 as well in the finale. She was supposed to have a bigger role, but because of the movie, they scrapped her and the rest of the Suicide Squad. So because of that, she's going to be at the bottom of the list, despite being a very high-profile Batman villain, despite being um, one of the more popular, maybe like the second most popular Batman villain ever, right behind the Joker at this point, Harley Quinn in the Arrowverse is nothing more than a cameo, so because of that, she's going to be in 10th place. Also, I'm not exactly a huge fan of Harley Quinn. There's definitely been a huge sat oversaturation over the character lately, and I think that even if she did have a huge role, she wouldn't probably be anywhere near number one. But considering at this point she used just a cameo, number 10 is where I'm going to put her. Nora Freeze isn't really much of a villain in the comics, I mean, she's connected to Mir Mr. Freeze, she is his wife, but he, she's really just his motivation, it is a big motivation, and she is definitely a very important character, but she's not much of a villain. In the Arrowverse, however, she kind of is, as she was locked up in Arkham Asylum, and she got into a fight to one, with one of the good guys, Killer Frost, who was a good guy in the Arrowverse, so I do think that she can be counted for this list, and while she is a little better than Harley Quinn, as she had some sort of role outside of just a cameo, she still barely appeared, and she still didn't really have much of a character if she ever comes back like maybe they do their own thing they do mrs freeze or something on batman which honestly i wouldn't put it past them then maybe she's going to be a little higher but as of right now she's going to be at number nine okay so does anyone know how to disconnect this thing i brought friends too hard mercenaries it's amazing who you can find on the dark web Noah Cutler, aka The Calculator, is only going to be higher than Harley Quinn and Nora Freeze because at least he has more than a cameo, but he's still a character I do not like at all. He was a very, very big part of Season 4, and that doesn't help his case considering he's only in Season 4. On top of that, his family drama with Donna Smoke and Felicity Smoke was one of the worst parts of Season 4. The season focused way too much on hacking. The ratio between hacking and regular fight scenes was way off. It was terrible, and he was definitely a big part of that, so I dislike the character. I just like the villain a lot, but, yeah, but the only reason he's going to be higher than Harley Quinn and Nora is because, again, he's more than just a cameo, and I f I'm sure there are a couple scenes where he wasn't terrible. Cyrus Gold is known as Solomon Grundy in the comics, or at least he becomes Solomon Grundy, not exactly strictly a Batman villain, but he definitely is a part of the rogues gallery of Batman. He had a role on Gotham, he had a role in Arkham City, so I definitely think he is a part of Batman's rogues gallery, so I put included him on this list. Cyrus Gold, I think, was meant to become uh, Solomon Grundy, as you see in Arrow Season 2 in the clip I just showed. The way he died, it really seemed like he was going to become Solomon Grundy, and he is Solomon Grundy in the comics, so why would he not? Turns out, they never really brought him back, and I really they probably wanted to, but maybe the budget or maybe Warner Brothers didn't allow them. Anyway, because he never became Solomon Grundy, he never really became a good villain. He definitely had a presence, a physical, like a menacing presence in Season 2 for a while, but I definitely don't think he was a good villain at all, who definitely does not deserve to be any higher than he is. As you left me, Now it's your turn. 
Garfield Linz, aka Firefly, is very, very different to his comic book counterpart. In the comics, he's obviously a Batman villain, but he could also he could fly and he has a flamethrower. While on Arrow, he's a Green Arrow villain or a Hood villain from season one. Very different motivation, and he doesn't fly. He doesn't have a costume. He is really just a burnt firefighter, and I do think that they kind of wasted the character a lot. This character of Firefly is not the most prominent Batman villain, not even a good one, but I also think he has potential and he could have made a good recurring villain on Arrow, considering he only appeared in one episode, which was probably the worst episode of Arrow Season 1, he's going to be fairly low on the list. Anarchy is certainly not one of the more popular Batman villains, he's barely been used in anything, in fact his role on Arrow is probably the character's biggest role in anything, and as such, I mean that is something there, but Anarchy is stuck mostly in Arrow Season 4, a terrible season, he did, have, he did have like one episode in Arrow Season 5, where he had a pretty awesome fight with the Green Arrow in the first episode, and that was probably his best episode, but he also had a big role in Season 4 of Arrow, and despite that season being god awful, I know, I don't really necessarily think that he was the problem, he definitely wasn't the problem at all. I just, I don't think he was really all that bad. I do think he had some uh, pretty good fight scenes and pretty good uh, motivation, at least a little bit good. I mean, I do think that he is definitely not as good as the characters above him. In fact, everything from 7 to 1, those are great characters. But 8 to 13 are really bad. But still, y you know, Anarchy is probably the best of the bad Batman villains who have appeared in the Arrowverse, or the, ba the Batman villains who were bad in the Arrowverse. Nissa Al Ghul, also known as Nissa Rothko in the comics, doesn't really have much of a villainous role in the Arrowverse or on Arrow. She appeared as a villain for one episode, that was her debut episode, but after that she became more of a good guy, maybe like an anti-hero, but definitely closer to good than bad. And as such, I think I'm only going to be counting the one episode where she was a villain for this list. Still definitely a lot better than Anarchy, Nora Freeze, or Harley Quinn, but not really that, uh, not really as good as the characters we're going to go over after this. If we are counting everything outside of that, like enti her entire storyline, that's she probably would be a little bit higher, maybe, maybe not, I don't really know, but I, at this point, I think that this is where she belongs on the list. And be afraid, my son. Death comes for us all. We can only evade it so long. Consider this an honorable exit. <laughs> Ra's al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul, whichever one you want to call it, I prefer Ra's, so that's what I'm going to say, was the main villain of Batman Begins, one of the main villains of Batman Arkham City, and he definitely had a big role on Gotham. He is definitely one of the more popular and more famous Batman villains, so the fact that he's at number 6 on a list that doesn't even include characters like Joker or Bane, or Penguin or Clayface or Riddler or Poison Ivy or Mr. Freeze or Catwoman, a lot of famous villains that maybe could be a little bit higher than Ra's al Ghul, maybe not, and that this list doesn't even include them, and he's still at number 6, it definitely did a list, something a little bit wrong. I mean, he's definitely a good villain, and he definitely worked a little bit for our season 3, but it definitely is not anywhere near as good as he was in the comics, so I really don't think he deserves to be any higher than number 6, and he's not even the highest of the Al Ghul family. Debuting two seasons after Nyssa and three seasons... Debuting three seasons after Nissa and two seasons after Raish, Tali Al Ghul is by far the latest uh, member of the Al Ghul family to debut in the Arrowverse or on Arrow, and still, however, she, I think, is the best. She was a part of Arrow Season 5 and a big part of it at that, and because of that, she's obviously going to be a little bit higher than the other characters. Nissa didn't really have much of a role in Season 5, Raish Al Ghul didn't have a role at all, and while that definitely doesn't necessarily make her a better character, like, automatically, I do think, however, her role in Season 5 does make her a better villain. I do think that her role training Al 
Oliver, but then coming back to train Adrian and Chase because Oliver killed Rage, so she wants to get revenge. I think it works really well. Honestly, I think because of her motivation and because of her skills, she could have made a good main villain, at least better than Ricardo Diaz or Amico Queen. I mean, so much better than Amico Queen. Talia Ghul could have done it, and because of that, I think that she definitely deserves to be fairly high on the list. The episode in Season 7 in the prison storyline where she returned was really awesome, and I honestly really want to see more of the character, even more so than Rachel Ghul and Nissa. So, uh, she's going to be higher on the list. John said you had friends in Russia? One friend reached out, didn't hear back. Oh, you little queen. Anatoly. You never should have come back to Russia. Anatoly Kanayazev, also known as in the comics the KG Beast, and on Arrow he was formerly the KG Beast, is very different from the comic book version, where in the comics he's a lot more about brute strength and weaponry, in the Arrowverse he's a lot more about power in terms of being control of a lot of people, but in terms of his development and his, uh, his connection to Oliver, he would have made for such a great main villain, and it's such a waste that he wasn't the main villain of season 6 or 7. After season 5, I think he would have made for such a great main villain of season 6, a lot better than Ricardo Diaz. In fact, in those uh, episodes that he was a villain, he was a lot better than Diaz, a lot better than a queen, uh, Miko Queen, obviously, and I do, I do think that he could have made for such a great main villain, so I do think that Anatoly is better than the combo book counterpart. He has a great development, great motivation, great connection to Oliver over the course of the seasons of the flashbacks of season 2 and 5. He could have made for such a great main villain, and it's a shame that he wasn't. Murder. You've taken lives. For the good of others. You're out for yourself. Floyd Lawton, aka Deadshot, is kind of similar to Harley Quinn, but a lot less similar, as Harley Quinn only really had a cameo before being scrapped for the movie. Deadshot had a fairly big role in Season 1, being the main villain of a couple episodes, and also in Season 2, being a recurring character as a part of the Suicide Squad, and also during Season 3. He was also scrapped from the Arrowverse because of the movie, which is such a waste for Harley Quinn, but also a lot more so for Deadshot, because he was a genuinely great character, a great character in season one where he had a rivalry with John Diggle because it seemed like he killed John Diggle's brother a great character in season two joining the Suicide Squad definitely being by far the best character at the time at least on the Suicide Squad in season three despite the fact that he shouldn't have died he had a pretty emotional death and I think overall Deadshot while definitely not had uh, not having the same potential of Talia al Ghul and Anatoly Kanaizev of being a main villain of a season definitely was it already an incredible uh, recurring character recurring villain and it's such a shame that they killed him off and he has in the and he's yet to return since season three. Don't forget who taught you how to fight kid. Deathstroke isn't really strictly a Batman villain, in fact he's more so a Teen Titans villain than anything, and then he's a Batman villain, and then he's kind of a little bit of a Green Arrow villain, but he is a part of Batman's rogues gallery, even appearing in a lot of Batman media, like in Arkham Origins he had a boss battle, which I really really liked, so Deathstroke definitely part of the uh, Batman rogues gallery, so I'm going to include him on this list, and he's definitely a very very good character who deserves to be fairly high on this list, he had great development over the course of the flashbacks of Season 1 and 2, an incredible main villain for Season 2, and whenever he came back, except for maybe in Season 3, he was awesome, returning at the end of Season 5, awesome, returning near the beginning of Season 6, incredible, so Deathstroke, definitely a great villain, and also a great anti-hero over the course of the show, and it's again a shame, another character that Warner Brothers doesn't allow Arrow to use anymore, because he's definitely one of the better characters on the show, and it would really suck if he doesn't return in the last season. Did you hesitate at all when you killed him? Or was he just another name you crossed off your list? If you want revenge, I'm right here. This is about so much more than revenge. 
Prometheus is another character who isn't really strictly a Batman villain. He's more so of a Justice League villain, maybe even more so of a Green Arrow villain than a Batman villain, but he is part of the Batman rogues gallery, and he is definitely a mirror of Batman. His parents were criminals who were killed by cops, so he swears vengeance against all justice, an exact opposite of Batman, so I'm going to include him on this list. And because of that, he is at number one. Prometheus is uh, by far my favorite main villain of any season, and one of uh, probably my second favorite villain overall, just after after Reverse Flash, Prometheus is awesome. I love his motivation. I love his storyline. The way they show how meticulating it, how calculating, and also badass he is. I think it was so awesome. His rivalry with Oliver Queen was perfect, and he, along with Oliver Queen, made Arrow season five as good as it is for me. It made it my favorite season of Arrow and the Arrowverse. So because of that, Prometheus is the best Batman villain who has ever appeared in the Arrowverse yet. But if uh, the Joker or Bane ever appears, then considering they are full-on Batman villains. I probably will maybe put them a little bit higher than Prometheus, that is, if they pull them off. So anyway, that is my ranking for every Batman villain on Arrow. The if I ever do this list again, it will probably just it will be the Arrowverse, not just Arrow, because uh, we know that Hush is appearing in Batwoman season one. Obviously, they're going to use a lot of a lot of Batman villains. So next time around, this will be probably Arrow and Batwoman, but maybe more Arrowverse shows will be using Batman villains in the future. Maybe even a Crisis on Infinite Earths. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about all of these Batman villains. Which one do you think is the best? Which one do you think is the worst? And if you like this video and you want to see more definitely leave some ideas in the comments and if you and again if you like this video make sure to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching